Hi, my name is Tom Casey, and I want to do a quick short video today on your limousine company. Basically, the purpose of this video is just to compare you with one of your competitors in terms of where you guys follow in search results when people are searching online for limo service in Fort Lauderdale. Now, I'm only going to cover two factors today because I want to keep this very short, uh, but there are a couple things I want to run by you. But before I jump into that, I want to show you how many people are searching online for limo service. This is a tool from Google. It goes out and does a count on monthly search terms, gives you an average. And what you are looking at here is from April 2015 back to May of 2014. How many people are searching for limo service online in Fort Lauderdale? Okay, and it rounds it up to the nearest 10. There was 480 in May, 720, 880, July, August 720, September 720, October 390, November 480, back up to 880. 480 and 880 in April. That's a lot of people searching for limo service, okay? So I thought this would be a good exercise. So what I did is I went over here to Google to the search for limo service in Fort Lauderdale. This is page one. Okay. Let's see where I find you. You are over here. There you are, five star limos. And you are on page four. Okay? So again, I just want to cover two factors today. Um, but again, these are two factors that search engines consider when they are doing rankings. They obviously consider more than two, um, but we want to keep this short as I mentioned. So what I'm going to do is compare you with someone on this page using those factors. I want to see if there's any differences between you and someone over here, and if there are any differences, if there's anything that can be done about it to help you out and move you up in search rankings. Okay? So I'm going to use Larry's limo for comparison. He's over here on page one. So let's go look at our very first um, Factor. This is something called citations, okay? Now a citation is a listing for your business on a directory site. It's a name, address, phone number listing, okay? And I'm going to give you an example. This website right here goes out and finds directory sites, okay? Here's a directory site called Easy Local. So Five Star Limos had a listing on Easy Local. Name, address, phone number listing, that would be considered one citation, okay? Now, <clears throat> search engines like citations. The more, the better. They feel it makes you more legitimate as a business. Therefore, they want to make you higher than someone who has fewer citations than you do. Now, on top of this page, you actually can do a citation count for your business. And I put you in here. It's telling me you have 77 citations, okay? Larry's, who we're comparing ourselves to, has 161. So there's a bit of a difference there. But the good news is we can quickly and easily get you added to these directory sites. So this number 77. We can bump that up into 80, 90, into the 100s. Uh, 140, 150 in short order, okay? If we do that, it's definitely going to give you a nice positive boost in search rankings, okay? You definitely would move up. All right, so that's citations. The second and last factor I want to talk about today is something called backlinks. Backlinks are important. A backlink is a link from one website to your website. As an example, there's a website called Fort Lauderdale Limo Supplies.com, and on their website, they had a link to five star limos. Dot us that would be considered one backlink for you okay search engines like backlinks even more than they like citations again for similar reasons that makes you more legitimate as a business therefore they want to make you higher than someone who has fewer backlinks than you do now this website here actually goes out and does a backlink count for your site okay and the number we want to look at is unique active backlinks this number right here so it's telling me you have two unique active backlinks let's go look at larry Okay, Larry's got 52 unique active backlinks. So again, bit of a difference there, but there's good news here too. We can add backlinks to your site and we don't need to add 50 either. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, Larry's got the 52 unique and that's why he's helping him rank, but the score here is pretty bad. Link influence score is an indicator of how strong the backlinks are that are coming into your website. The stronger the website is, the higher that score is gonna be. That's what that score is based on. It's how how good a website is it's linking to you. So the stronger and better the website, the higher that score will be. And if that score is higher, it's gonna help you move up, okay? This really should be closer to 30% as an average. So what does that mean to you? Well, if we just added eight to 10 good quality backlinks from good quality websites to your site and got your score up to close to 30%, that would be huge for you you would definitely jump in the rankings, okay? You definitely would move up quite a bit. All right, so we just talked about citations and backlinks today, but you can see there are differences between you and someone on that other page of Google. But you're also seeing that there are steps we can take to reduce and eliminate those differences. And when we do that, with just these two factors alone, give you a very nice big boost in search rankings, okay? 
So I hope you found this was helpful. Uh, this is what I do for a living, but I don't charge for consulting. So if you want more information about what I talked about today, that's free. If you want me to discuss other factors I do with my other customers regarding rankings, that's free. If you want me to review your website, that's also free. There's no cost. There's no obligation. So if you want to see how I can help you out, give me a call or shoot me an email and we'll go from there. Have a great day. Bye now.